Today we're doing the handover setup guide of the Abbey Safari 495. We're going to show you how to set the caravan up on site. We're going to go through how everything works, where everything goes and give you a good setup guide for how to use the caravan on site. So on the near side of the caravan we've got an external storage locker and we've also got a little external 230 volt socket that will power into the awning. We've got an external gas barbecue point. This runs off the main gas bottle on the caravan. You do need a little adapter that plugs into here and then that will turn on the uh, gas to your barbecue. In the front we've got some wastewater connections, there's a few other little bits and pieces in there also that have been left in. It's set up for propane gas, we're set up on a hand wheel, now this is reverse thread so you must remember to do this opposite thread to normal and again you can just do this hand tight and then it's literally turn your gas on just on the top of the bottle itself. It's set up for towing for two seven pin electrics. So just make sure your vehicle has the two seven pin connections. We've got uh, the Alco AKS hitch head. Uh, and again, in the description, we've got a video of how to hitch up and a little guide to go through for that. On the opposite side, the off side of the caravan, our first one is our water pump. So this will probably be in the sink um, of the caravan when you collect it it's literally drop it into your water container this pushes in and then the top holds that in so there's a little catch just here that will hold that in flue for the water heater now you've got a winter cover or a cover for when you're not using it this cover must be removed when you're going to use the water heater um, otherwise you're going to have problems lighting that up on the gas. Our 230 mains connection plugs straight in. We've got a little notch here that the cable will run through so you can lock this box up when you're on site. Battery is red to positive, black to negative and also we've got the motor mover switch just in here which again when you come to collect the van will show you that. Just behind the wheels we've got our two waste water connections so we've got some little pipes in the front of the caravan that will connect onto here so all of your waste water from your sinks showers bathroom sink they're all going to come out of here and then straight into your aqua roll cassette toilet next at the back the actual cassette is located in the bottom one our flush water in the top when we open this up it's literally a watering can and the pink chemical the pink flush chemical in the top one there for our cassette itself we've got a little yellow tab this pulls out and to empty this we fold out the nozzle we unscrew the cap and the yellow button at the back that will then empty everything out of the cassette for you when we want to put any cleaning blue chemical into the uh, bottom we can use a little yellow tab here open that up and that will just direct us straight into the bottom of the cassette and we can put our cleaning chemical or blue chemicals in the bottom there again that must be closed back to before we put the cassette back in flat push pushes in and this just goes straight back in now just at the top here if we've got the little bung and that is to drain off the flush water so definitely through the winter we'll want to drain that flush water down but also if you've got too much in there before you travel you'll need to empty that out otherwise you're going to end up with pink chemical flush all over the toilet as it all uh, slosh around if there's too much moving around we've got a external locker straight underneath the bed so we've got plenty of storage straight from there I'll just nip inside and I'll put the awning light on just show you that operating 
I've got the electric on or yeah so little button just at the side here if you've got your power on already this is going to put your awning light on and off for you when we move inside of the caravan just inside of the wardrobe we've got our main controls for the caravan now we've got our main on and off button here which we can select our car if we turn on the car or when we come into the caravan put our caravan on we've got our main water pump on and off and we'll get a little red light when that's running and then just at the bottom of all of our trip switches here we've got our space heater we can leave this one into the position and i'll show you the space heater in a minute we've then got our water heater make sure that this is always off until the water is full and you've got all of the hot water through all of the taps flowing through and we know that the hot water heater is full of water which again we'll come on to in a minute our battery charger again if we're connected to our 230 mains electric we can put our battery charger on and that will then charge the battery and run all the 12 volt system for us so as i say going back to the water pump before we put this one on and before we put our water heater on there's a couple of little checks that we just need to do first and i'll show you that now so underneath of our front seat we've got our actual water heating system and our water boiler um, we've got our water pump in there and we've also got the little yellow switch there now that ye little yellow switch is going to be what we use to drain the water down through the winter and also if we're not going to use the caravan for an amount of time we want to literally flick that into the upright position as so and that will then drain the caravan down and what we'd do is we'd open all of the taps up um, leave that into the upright position and that then will drain the water system down for us but what we must remember before we put that water pump on is make sure that's back flat make sure all of our taps are turned off and then we can go ahead and put our water pump on So I'll now put our water pump on and draw the water through the system. We can then put our taps on. And again, if we're just coming to the caravan for the first time, so we've not used it for a, a while, when we put our hot on, we'll get quite a lot of coughing and spluttering on our hot water tap and that literally is just getting all the air out of the system and also filling our hot water tank up the reason when i was in the closet earlier i uh, said about not putting the water heater on was that if that water heater isn't full of water and we put that water heater on we're going to cause damage to the the actual water heater itself so we need to make sure that we've got a good constant flow on our hot water side once we've got a good flow of water and we know that we've got plenty of water coming through the system we can go back and we can actually put our water heater on and it's literally to put our water heater now on electric once we've got all the water through is pop that one into the on position if we wanted to use the gas side of things there is another little controller just above the fire and in between the front and the, the bedroom and we've got Truma Ultra Store and we've got a little symbol of the gas here so if we wanted to use the hot water on gas we literally pop that onto the flame we'll get a little green light um, and as long as that lights up we'll get a constant green light stayed lit um, and we'll also then get the heat coming out of the flue outside that we showed you earlier now the reason that we have to take the flue cover off on the outside is that if we do come to use it on gas and that flue cover is on it's not going to light up on the gas um, so always make sure that your flue cover is removed before trying to operate the water heater on gas the setting just below is for our fire um, so this one is the Truma Ultra Heat and we've got 500, 1000 and 2000 and again in the wardrobe we've got the little button that said Space Heater 
so again we need to make sure that that one is on first and then when we turn this on we'll again we'll get a little green light light up just to say that that is operational if when you use this and you've not got the green light just make sure that the little switch just inside of the wardrobe is in the actual on position and you'll get the little green light come on then you can then go ahead and set that either at 500 a thousand or 2000 and then your dial in the middle is actually your thermostat so that will control how hot the system gets to also on the fire you've got the gas setting so if you want to use the fire on gas we turn the control dial round to one of the higher settings hold that in and we hit our igniter and as we release that we'll hear the flame fire up and that will light up then on the gas and run on the gas for you um, whether we're using gas or electric with the settings as we've done so far we'll get heat coming out the front of the fire if we wanted the heat coming through the vents around the caravan we've also got our blown air heating system now on the top we've got a little dot in the middle which is off we've then got a little flag symbol that is more of a just for if we're using the blown air without any heating and we can control speed of the fan on our top dial but we've also got an A over on this side which this will automatically run either on our gas heating on the thermostat on the gas fire or if we're using the electric heating it will run on the electric thermostat and just blow the warm air around the caravan as the fire is putting the heat out um, so A for automatic working with our blown air heating whether it be gas or electric off in the middle and then the flag symbol is just a cold blown air fan so if you're blowing the air just around the caravan that will just blow cold air around on a warm day on to our oven uh, now we had already got the gas through the system on this caravan so all of our fire our water heater everything lit up straight away but if you're changing the gas bottle or you're just coming in and you've not had a gas bottle connected one of the first things if you want to use your gas system is to get the gas through on your hob now the reason for that i thought that was going to go out then no so you can see there's just a bit of air in the system there and it actually uh, went out on us um, so if we've just re-put a or if we've connected a new gas bottle on and we've got air in the system this is the easiest way to actually get, get the gas through the system again and we can physically see then when we've got all the air out of the system and got the gas through to our appliances this is going to mean by lighting these up first that we get the gas through the system and then anything else that we come to whether it be the fridge the fire the water heater everything then is going to light up an awful lot easier and quicker we've also got an electric ring which is our first control dial here and again we just select which setting that we want and that will then start to heat up on the electric um, now what you must remember is if you're going to use the any of the hobs make sure that they've all cooled down before we put our glass lid down otherwise there's a very good chance if you put that down while it's hot it's going to shatter the glass and you're going to end up with glass everywhere so, so onto our grill we've got the little wiggly line at the top we again hold it onto the big flame hit our igniter and that just lights up our grill again we've got a high and a low setting and then back off onto the oven we've got from half all the way down to round to nine and again that then we can control where we want on the thermostat and that will get to heat 
on our fridge we've got off we've got our gas uh, to light our gas when we put that on that will turn the igniter on and then on our thermostat we literally hold our thermostat in you'll see the little red indicator go up and into the green as we release the dial then the little indicator should stay up into the green again then when we're selecting our electric we'd put our plug symbol on that will then run on electric and we can again use our thermostat dial over on the other side that we use for our gas and that will set our temperature to where we need that to we've then got battery and again that will run off the seven pin on the car as we're driving it will only keep the kit fridge cool um, so as long as you've got your seven pin the gray seven pin on the car wired that will just keep the fridge cool as you're driving along We've also got a microwave fitted in this caravan um, now one thing that you must make sure is that the microwave plate is removed when you're traveling uh, otherwise the microwave plate is going to come out and put a dent in the worktop here um, operation of the microwave we've a couple of fun functions on here we've got an express cook uh, express defrost you can clear them you can put it on for a quick one minute stop and clear 10 seconds and then just running through the different settings one thing to note with these microwaves there isn't really enough clearance to be running it for any large length or a long length of time um, really a minute two minutes maximum otherwise you're going to find that the microwave starts to overheat um, so just be careful on that We've also got the roof fan fitted in this one. Um, so to open the roof fan, we've got the little control dial on the side, and then we can either extract or blow cool air in. And again, we've got three speed settings on there. And again, we can then blow into the caravan. And again, same thing is we've got three speed settings. So again if you've got a, uh, a warm day you can use that to blow cool air into the caravan and just cool the caravan down slightly. All of our individual lights have got our own little individual light switches on and again they're dotted around the caravan. Again, we've got plenty of underbed storage on this one the external locker uh, will come in so you can store things underneath the bed just be careful how much weight that you put in at the back here uh, really if you're traveling especially um, you want to make sure all of your heavy items are over the axle and towards the front of the caravan um, the cassette toilet is an electronic flush so to flush the toilet we've got a blue button at the top and that will put our flush water through and then to empty the contents is literally a little grey handle push it forwards to empty everything through and pull it back to close it again if we're going to remove the cassette itself we need to make sure that this is full, pulled fully back otherwise that cassette isn't going to come out from outside and you're going to end up causing damage Hopefully we've give you a good tour of how to operate the Abbey when you get onto site, how to set everything up. If there is anything that you need us to go back through, please do give us a call or just let us know in the comments. Uh, again, thanks for watching and hopefully this has helped you.